Santos. So Santos, thank you. He wants to know what CPU you would pair with the 7900XT GPU. He wants to know if you'd go the Intel 14700K or the 7800X 3D from AMD. Both are 369 at Micro Center. He games on an ultra wide, the 3400 by 1440. He wants 120 frames a second, so. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Do you want to buy a one-and-done CPU that you do not upgrade, or do you want to drop in future CPU upgrades? If you want a platform that you can put Zen 6 in in three years without having to change anything, get the 7800X 3D. If you want to build a machine you can keep for the next four years and touch nothing, buy a 4790K. I did not say 4790, 4, 14700K, 40. Stupid product names. I don't know what Micro Center sells the 14900K for. When the 14700K came out, I've made several comments along the lines of $400, 20 cores, it's a nice middle ground option, it makes sense, it's competitive. Here's the problem. It will not retain its value the way the 14900K will. The best chip of the socket always does well, the rest of the chips don't. It's only four more e-cores. But it's also clock speed. And it's another hundred dollars. In the grand scheme of things, after you've spent $700 on the video card, $400 on the CPU, motherboard, RAM, storage, or whatever else you need to do, is the hundred dollar difference between a for 120 or whatever it is, is the 100-ish dollar difference between a 14700K and a 14900K going to A, be noticed, B, be missed, or C, remotely matter three or four years from now or five years from now when you're ready to resell it, repurpose it, and games and programs use a lot more cores because Zen 6 is gonna be 32 cores. I'm of the mindset that if you're doing that, just go to the top. It's like all the people who bought 5900Xs and really should have bought 5950Xs. Yeah. Because now they're stuck, it's not worth upgrading, but it'd be nice if they really had the best chip of the platform. It's kind of like the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. Yeah, but they didn't launch at the same time. No, they didn't. It was the 20 series when they started launching them at the yeah. same time. But yes, it's... So... I will say that either one of these chips will do that just fine with that video card, depending on the game, of course. I mean, Cyberpunk with ray tracing on it won't, but most stuff it'll be just fine. Take your pick. Mm -hmm. Take your pick. Do you want to upgrade or do you want to never touch your machine until you're ready to replace it? Yep. That's really... That's your two options. Does you Let's do the poll. Oh. I'm going to end poll. The poll, which CPU is a better deal for a home theater PC and emulation? $150 i5 12600KF, 89% of you. $100 i3 12100F, 10% of you. Well, I'm glad to see that most <laughs> people see the light. Yeah. Uh, this is in response to a comment that we got earlier. And of course, again, I'm not picking on Raw. Thank you very much for the support. But um, yeah, I mean, at 150, that's really an end of the conversation. Yep. By the way, to address Chris's comment, um, I base everything based on U.S. prices. Yeah. If the prices are different, it changes the deal. It does. I completely, absolutely understand that prices around the world vary, deals vary, discounts vary. I'm basing the worthiness of the 14900K over the 14700K based on a 100 to maybe 100 and... 30 to 150 dollar price difference at most. If it's 200, 300 dollars difference, 
not worth the money, get the 14700K. But right now, I think it's $145 difference on Amazon. I don't know what it is at Micro Center. So it's 14900K, 519. Five nine five nineteen versus three sixty oh, nine. It's hundred and fifty dollars. In the course of four years of owning the machine, is the hundred and fifty dollars going to matter? You'll get at least half of that back when you eventually sell the chip. Your net cost of owning it's gonna be 75 bucks. Do you want four more cores, higher clock speed, more cash for the next four years for 75 bucks? Come on. Again, we're talking about somebody who's buying 7,900 XTs where you know, they're buying, they're building a nice machine. Yep. Come on. Uh-oh, how much is a phone on Indoor? <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about Indoor. Oh my gosh. The 14900K does not require an AIO. The power consumption between those two chips, that, that this is such nonsense. I, how many times do I keep saying this to people? 14900Ks do not require AIOs. No. We use a Noctua NHD15 on our top end chips. They work just fine. Yep. That is, that is a bunch of malarkey. Yep. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.